Alright. More Super Mario Advance free, Yoshi's Island. We have the new world map now. It's dark and we get this nice little remix of the Yoshi's Island theme. And we're finally on World 6. Here's hoping we can beat it today. We're off to this little haunted treehouse area. I don't even know what it is. World 6 is quite different from all the other worlds. We still have 8 levels though, so let's get started on level 1. 6-1 Scary Skeleton Goonies! And here we're basically in the underworld. <laughs> Very different from the rest of Yoshi's Island, huh? And we've actually seen these little Skeleton Goonie guys before, but this level's all about them. We've also got the... Spear guys from Monkey Land. Alright. So far, so good. Nope. Get back here. Why are we getting these jungle guys, honestly? I don't get it. Gotta go backwards, alright. Is this just another area to get coins? Or are there red coins in here as well? Okay, well, that also definitely won't help. <laughs> Just jumped off a cliff. Fantastic. I remember World 6 being very difficult. And Level 1 in particular, I remember being a rather nasty starting level. Get back here. Baby! Don't go wandering off in this area. <laughs> Yeah, this world can be annoying, or this level can be annoying because these little skeleton goonies can just kind of pop out of nowhere. Let's try this again. I like how this is a remix of the regular Mario Underground theme. I hate how slippery this platform is! The combination of it moving and you not in the air makes it really annoying to land on it, especially since Yoshi slides around everywhere. Not the most controllable 2D platformer protagonist. Yuck. That part always gets me, man. Someone tells me this isn't even going to have any red coins, either. This is probably just an area to get one-ups. But you're far more likely to die here. Oh, bother. I do not like this area. <laughs> Far too easy to lose one's life! No! Okay, there's nothing down there. It's just one-ups. Boo. That's not even a good way of getting one-ups. It's so easy to die in there. What gives?
I, why? I didn't move up. Why didn't it eat the go the goonie? Wonder if there's something up here as well. Nope. Cool, let's just keep spitting the spear guys into these. Save us on eggs. Don't eat my hover. Don't you dare. Good, thank you. I remember there being a very long time before you actually get a checkpoint here. Okay, that was a pyro guy. And then there are these weird... Psst. <laughs> Falcon punching bandits here as well. Well, that's a little... That's not exactly user-friendly. <laughs> oh, no, my nemeses. Okay, thank goodness. We actually do get a checkpoint, though. But the chomps are back. My greatest foe. How dare you. No! Give that back. Hmm. Wow, that's evil. Why could I not land on that? That's really dumb. Guess you gotta get for that quickly to push the crate before the chomp falls. Or we can just... Actually, there might be stuff behind that, so we actually might not be able to do that! How in the world? How in the world are you supposed to do this? There's no way you could get for that fast enough, right? What if we pow block? What does this even do? Well, it doesn't move the crate. What if we burn the crate open? Can we do that? No, of course we can't. Oh, that's evil. That's what you're supposed to do? That's so mean! Wow. Yeah, I don't like this. <laughs> okay, that's kind of very annoying to do. Guy, I need another. That's very rude. There's no rhyme or reason for where these guys land. There is literally no rhyme or reason for where these guys land. And what order they land in either. They just always seem to land in the place that's going to be most annoying for you. That's weird. That time I could see the difference between the regular coins and the red coins. Like, sometimes you can see it, and other times you can't. Alright. Let's try- okay. At least now I know how to move that crate, so that should be a little nice. But I still detest the way that these guys fall. <laughs> Mm -hmm. 
Yeah, these guys, like, sometimes they fall in the same place, sometimes they fall in a new place. I don't... I don't understand. Oh my gosh, we're finally out of that nightmare, though. Yay! <laughs> oh, thank goodness. Oh, and another checkpoint. Okay, this is gonna be tricky. Especially with these scary skeleton goonies constantly dropping bombs on me. That also makes it a little tricky. Huh. That's gonna be a rather precise egg shot, isn't it? We gotta make it ricochet just right. That is annoying how the Goonies respawn. Just so they can pelt you with bombs. Look at this! Look how fast he's respawning! It's ridiculous! Look! He respawned again! This is not NES Ninja Gaiden. You do not get to respawn unless you... There. There we go. That was a tricky flower to reach. Wow, that's annoying. Aha! Oh, and that's interesting, a bonus shack. Hmm. Perhaps we can jump up from below? Aha, yes indeed. Oh no, shoot. Well, no bonus shack for us, we had to pound this peg and then... Mm. That's somewhat irritating. That's okay, bonus shack doesn't lead to anything necessary. Hey Dusk, how's it going? We're just starting World 6 of Yoshi's Island today. And this is still the first level, it's, it's, uh, it's going. go. That was the last flower. Cool. We should have almost all of the red coins. Oh, that's... Okay, I f we better have power-ups. There we go. Alright, please tell me we have a star power-up. Okay, thank goodness. And bada-beam. There we go. First level of world, six down. Yes! No bonus game, that's okay. Pink Yoshi, it's up to you now. That's I remember that level being a little tougher, actually. World 6 gets really nasty, especially in the second half. <laughs> Even the background is filled of skulls. Alright. Don't remember this level as much. I remember it being easier than the first one, though. 6-2, the Cave of the Bandits. I mean, this is almost filled with bandits that try to steal Baby Mario from you, but apart from that, it's not too bad. If memory serves. Yeah, give me that. 
think the toughest part of this level is just getting all of the stars, but we can just use a power-up. Also, I think those guys are instant death, but I can't quite remember. Give me that. No! You do not get to take my baby. He is mine. You wish you could say you thought this world was in both difficulty and aesthetics, but it's not. A f oh, yeah. This world is definitely a toughie. Okay, that lava on the ground I do remember is instant death. Get back here. Yeah, the bandits are more annoying than it. Okay, no. The little potaboos are not instant death. But they can result in instant death. How spooky. I still feel like this is a step down in difficulty from the last level, though. Again, this level seems by and large to just be... not losing Baby Mario. I'll keep some eggs just in case. We have egg power-ups as well, but I'd prefer not to use them. <laughs> Give me that. That's weird, the bandits aren't following us this time. Huh. That's interesting. Oh, these guys again. Yeah, if you want to destroy this for me, that'd be cool with that. Oh, I thought that was going to be like the Hammer Bros from the original Mario game, where it just kills them. No, no such luck. Oh. One up, Shy Guy. Yes, please. <laughs> yep, all this for a loaf of bread. Woo woo woo. Give me some of those. Oh, we're at max star power. That's always nice. I don't like these little mice. I remember them from the Baseball Boys level. Did I steal his red coin? Yeah, like, literally, I remember this level, but just being... <laughs> Hope you can survive with the star power. Cool, I didn't even have to use a watermelon. Okay, I did get the red coin, that's good. I figured I did! Oh, dang. Now that's, a, now that's what I call baseball. Oh, that's a pit? That looked like there was something secret down there. <gasps> that's really cool. I like how they're the two baseball bat guys hitting the chomp rock back and forth. That's funny. Oh, yep. Sure enough. I wish bandits weren't so annoying to get rid of. Cactus Piranha is not fun! <laughs> I 
you jerk, you almost made me fall off a cliff. I love how baseball boys are some of the few enemies that just can't be eaten in any way. Oh, is there nothing up there? That would have been a perfect place to put a flower. Give me a... Ouch! But it looks like there's something hidden up there. Just jump off the cliff. Just jump off the cliff! Thank you. Guess there's nothing up there. Oh, I need more eggs. watch this be like a flower. Okay, a one-up. I'll take that, too. Thank you for the egg. Oh, fun! How did I do this without dashing in the past? Uh-oh. That's not good. <laughs> How was I able to do that without knowing you could hold B to dash in the past? I must have cheesed it. Was the last of the red coins. And I think, yeah! Cool, we don't even need no power-up. Yeah, see? That level wasn't too bad. That's one of the easier levels in, I think, World 6. Oh, I wanted a bonus game! I actually don't really. It's probably just gonna be like, spin the slot machine. Or hey, you picked Kamek first, again. Do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do. Alright, well, World 6 is going pretty well. We get a 1-up. Light Blue Yoshi's time to shine on level 3. Level 3, Beware the Spinning Logs. Also plays this music for some reason. Even though we're in a cave. <laughs> Ouch. Alright, give me my eggs. That's right, I remember this level. The logs have weird physics and can send you flying. You gotta beware the spinning logs, but you also have to use the spinning logs. Yeah, that's right. Oh no, not fuzzies. No, no, not fuzzies!
touch fuzzies every day. There we go. Oh, that's suspicious. I don't dare push it down any more than that. <laughs> That's easy. <laughs> the logs must have inspired the swing slides glitch in GTA 4. Haven't played that, but sounds fun. I'm not sure if the game intends for you to use the logs' weird physics in order to get some stuff, but you can. Oh, hey, it's a jump rock. I, no! You aren't pushing me off a cliff that easily. Uncomfortable. <laughs> this definitely seems like a pretty easy World 6 level, though. The Potaboos are making things a little annoying, though. Swing Slide Glitch is basically the swing that has weird physics that can send cars in the game flying. That sounds amazing. <laughs> Alright, so the Potaboo there was making things a little tricky. <laughs> what? <laughs> what is this? I have never seen this before in my life. I guess the game does intend for you to use that for some fans. Wow! There's more? That's crazy! I've never seen this secret before. Again, I also haven't beaten the game. <laughs> Looks like I'm not the only one who hasn't seen this out of Twitch chat. <laughs> That is a well-hidden secret. Wow. Are there gonna be more balloons? There are! How delightful. <laughs> See, this is one of the secrets I can get behind. It's not- you can't just flat-out die in it. Oh my gosh! What the heck? That's crazy! Oh, that's what that thing is there for. Yeah, well, we're not missing out on the flower or the red coins because of that. I was wondering when I saw this gap here. I thought you might be able to use the chomp rock to get up there, but I'm like, no, that's way too high up. I do not like Chomp Rocks balanced on precarious situations like that. <laughs> Here's the problem, yeah, I need to like... I need to be extremely careful when moving- <laughs> That almost killed me. Yikes! Beautiful! That was also a relatively easy level. Not even just by World 6 standards, even by like World 5 and even World 4, potentially. Oh boy, bonus game! 
I'm sorry, bonus challenge. Very different. Zoop, zoop, zoop. 100 points! Wow! We're actually making great headway into 100% in World 6. Oh boy, I knew it was gonna be Slot Machine. We haven't seen this one very often. Ah well. Yep, final fort up next. And it's a doozy of a fort. Level 4, Tap Tap the Red Noses Fort. Yep, yeah, this one is <laughs> pretty nasty if memory serves. Thank goodness ducking exists. Uh, tap Tap the Red Nose is a really cool idea, though. Thank you, booze. Collecting star points as Baby Mario is losing his star points. Now that's meta. Thank you, wonky 3D physics. Or pseudo 3D physics. Wow, I almost got crushed there. Yeah, there's a lot of pseudo 3D parts to this fort. Uh, What the? Okay, I won't complain with it. I got two free star points out of that, but, um, what? That egg literally just phased through a piranha plant. Hmm. Ah, uh, yes. Thorns. Everyone's favorite instant death mechanic. Oh, hey, Salva the Slime! Haven't seen you in a while. Buddy, jump over here so I can actually hit you, please. Wait, I thought there were forns on that floor. Oh, there we go. We finally beat him. <laughs> yeah, there are a bunch of little salvo the slimes in this fort that give you keys. That was almost a bad thing. But here we go, we got our key! One of the Salva the Slimes is annoying, because you have to... There are no extra eggs you can get. Thank you, Tap Tap the Green Noses. <laughs> Eastman and Kronk discussing the egg-throwing physics. I could see it too. Oh, I love that little 3D pipe there. Pipe maze here, however, could be a little frustrating to get. Okay, cool. Back, back, back! There we go. Whew. There are three levels here? Wow. <laughs> 
How did that work, Kronk? Boy, you got me. By all accounts, it just doesn't make sense. Cool. We got the flower. We need eggs, though. <laughs> kind of badly. Oh, how lovely. That's where our next checkpoint is. Yay! I do have to check this area thoroughly for secrets, though. <laughs> oh, yeah! The cork keys. I forgot about that. This is the only dungeon to have cork keys. Oh, what a shot. <laughs> oh boy, what a shot. Do, 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 do. I believe Salvo the Slime is through here, maybe? Question mark? Nope, never secret. I don't trust that. <laughs> Give me a watermelon. I don't think Yoshi can run under a thing that has only one spike missing. I'm sorry, one thorn missing. Actually, watermelon might be the key to beating Salvo the Slime in the upcoming area. Oh, that's a nice place to recharge on eggs. That's cool. It's the Song of Storms. Yeah, this is the room where you fight uh, Salvo again. Yeah, Watermelon makes that fight so much easier. Because you can't get any new eggs in that room, so you have to either ricochet a bunch, or just use a Watermelon. <laughs> wow, I forgot how gigantic this room is. Wh holy crow. Back to that, uh, key cork. <laughs> oh, yep, there we go. I just know there's a secret up there one of these times. This is a pretty good fort, if memory serves. Unless we get a lava raft. Okay, this isn't exactly a lava raft. This is a bit better. I actually kind of like the, um... Ouch! Burn my butt. I actually kind of like the Ferris wheel slash merry-go-round platform, things like that. Ah, uh, yes, the legendary tap-tap the red nose. Alright, we gotta watch out for the little... fireballs. Because they are nasty. Wow, that was, like, perfectly vertical. That was the last red coin. We're just missing one flower. Oh, no. I was just saying, like, oh, I hope it's not a lava raft. And here comes the lava raft. I can't remember if you can step off of it, but I ain't 
I ain't testing it to find out. Come on, I hope there's a flower at the end of this. There. Oh, beautiful, and we get even another checkpoint. How lovely. Boss time. Oh, hey, no red door, just a warp pipe. Eek! How did you... You! I never expected you to get so far! Eee! Now it's over! Your game ends here! Giant tap tap the red nose. We gotta destroy the floor. But be careful not to destroy the floor under us. Hey, camera! Oh, and he just jumped in the lava of his own accord. And the camera gives us a discretion shot. Wow, I for that guy's pretty easy. <laughs> yeah! Wow. Camera was not working with me. I couldn't see his demise in the lava, but all right. He died in the lava. <laughs> Alright, we're halfway through World 8. It's not even been an hour in the stream, and we have 100%. That boss can be easy or hard. Pr I probably got lucky with the ricochets, honestly. Alright, time for what, in my opinion, is the worst regular level in the entire game. Level 5 of World 6. The Very Long Cave. It is exactly what it sounds like. It's an extremely long cave with minimal checkpoints, and it's an auto-scroller. It's like the triple whammy. This is also probably the toughest level in the game to 100%. Excluding the extra levels, of course. Because, um, actually maybe even including the extra levels. There's one part, if you want 100%, you literally need to ride one of these chomp rocks while it's moving without falling off over lava. I'm not even gonna try. <laughs> I don't see how it's possible. And the worst part about that is, um, it comes right before checkpoint, so, uh... If you fail to ride the Chomp Rock, then you have to literally redo five minutes or, or six minutes of the level. I ain't doing that. Oh wow, I wasn't even thinking that it would ricochet like that, but cool. That's fantastic. And a pray to- yeah. This is a terrible auto-scroller. I mean, kind of a, uh, oxymoron, but... Oh no, Chomp Rock! I'm pretty sure that I have already failed to get 100% on this level. That's also mean, how they can just put the Shy Guys with the Red Coins right there. <laughs> Yay, I can breathe fire now! Because I swallowed the pyro guy. Or fry guys, as I like to call them. Yeah, I missed one of those corridors. I don't know how you would go down then, unless you literally knew it was coming ahead of time. Yet another reason I don't like auto-scrollers. Let me take the level at my pace, not your pace. If I want to take my time with a level, let me take my time. If I want to do a level fast, then let me do the level fast. I I was all, I already knew there was no way I was 100%ing this level, though. Nor do I really want to. The level looks cool, and honestly, if this if this wasn't an auto scroller, it could actually be a fairly fun level. Fairly. I think we're approaching the part with the chomp rock. Oh. Yep. Yep. 
this part right here. Yeah, you literally have to ride the chomp rock to that door. No, thank you. And again, one wrong misstep and you will end up in the lava and die. And you have to restart that entire uh, level again. No, thank you. And now it's not an auto-scroller. Figures they put the checkpoint right after that part, and not right before it. Now it is an auto-scroller. <laughs> the somewhat long cave. This is a pretty long cave. Okay, now the auto-scroller is getting too fast. Little skeleton goonies, you can go on ahead. That's not nice! Chomp rocks from heaven. You know what? I didn't do too bad on that level. Also, that level was not as long as I remember. I actually did not do too bad on that level. <laughs> We got 80%. I'm pretty sure all the rest of the, I'm pretty sure the red coins were down that alternate path and then the flowers beyond the cave. Oh, this okay, maybe this is the level that I remember being the worst. I think I remember this one being the toughest level in the game. I just got lost for hours. Level six, the deep underground maze. Yeah, this level's a giant maze, and I remember it being extremely difficult to solve. Maybe I'll find it easier now that I'm not six. Can't kill the Potaboo. Guess that makes sense. Let's kill the green noses though. <laughs> tap tap the green nose. Don't tell me the Chomp Rock despawned. The Chomp Rock freaking dis despawned. I repeat, this is not NES Ninja Gaiden. Pain. Like I'm playing this blind. I only uh, I've only made it to this part of the game once. I've played through a lot of this game multiple times, but this I have not made it to this area very much. Okay, are we supposed to take the chomp rock for the whole level? The potaboos are making that extremely annoying to do. <laughs> that is annoying how you can run over the chomp rock and then. End up on the wrong side of it and push it downhill. Don't despawn! No, no, no! Stop! 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 Stop moving! Stop moving! Stop moving! Stop moving! Stop moving! Stop moving! All right, great. We can't jump up then. Okay, fine. Also, physics in this game are great. <laughs> wow, the game lagged. That does not happen very often in Game Boy Advance games. Ah, what the heck is this? Freaking bandit in a boo sheet. Oh, I don't need to stop the chomp rock there. Okay. As long as the green noses don't respawn, I should be good. Good. 
I also... Is this the level where... Is this the level where there are multiple, like... There are checkpoint rings that you can actually enter in any order? I feel like there's a level in the game where there can be, like, two checkpoints on one screen and you can enter the checkpoints in any order, and you can enter them more than once if you hit the other checkpoint as well. I could be wrong about that, though. Maybe I'm thinking of a different game. No! Oh, wait, no, never mind. I'm thinking of a different game. Yeah, because Marching Mills Fort, that also has multiple ones. Eesh. Yeah, I think if you I think if you destroy all of the ground at once, you can end up stuck. Okay, I'm, I think those guys are invincible. <laughs> p p potentially. I didn't want to go that low. go! Lucky! <laughs> you like the karate guys? I'm glad you do. They're, they can be a little bit annoying. Yike! Can't believe I didn't see that one coming. No! Oh, hey, Sniffit. We haven't seen you guys since Marching Mills Fort. I see numbers. Yep, this is how I remember the deep underground maze. Oh yeah, Super Mario Land. That game is weird. Oh no. I missed stuff. Wait. It's handy. We're back up to 30. Does this also take us to... Okay, it's a different place. Stupid snippets. I am gonna try to 100% this level. Oh. Okay, guess we can't go on this side. Thanks, one-way gates. That's okay, we can go on this side just as easily. <laughs> Yoshi ate the fiery guy, but then forgot about it. Alright, well we're gonna go back the way we came. That's bad. I think we're screwed. Because I think Baby Mario is now trapped too high up. And there's some kind of ceiling above him, I think. Well, yep, yep, that was literally just there was no way out of that. 190 lives, though. We're getting a ton of lives. But unfortunately, now we have to do a lot of the level again. That's annoying. Boop, boop, boop.
There we go. That was hard to do with eggs. Okay, that's a four. Yeah, okay. Four, five. Yeah, let's pay attention to the carvings in the wall. Alright, four on that side, five on that side. Let's just grab the red coins on this side, and then never come back here again. Beautiful. I guess we can come here anytime we need an egg refill. But beyond that, nothing over here. Alright. Let's try what we did the first time, but this time we do it good. <laughs> this time we're not going to miss out on the uh, surprises. Grab the flower, then we run. Got some delicious snippets over here. So we could go straight up, but that's not the... <laughs> that's not the way. Ow! That enemy placement is super jerkish. This door, we're gonna do a slight bounce on the ball. Like that. Oh, is that little is that like a buffer for so Yoshi doesn't injure injure his head? The little sponge stuff down there? Boom! Shakalaka. Ouch! You pesky little fry guy. I still have no idea where the exit is, by the way. <laughs> I'm just trying to explore everything. Okay, so that's where we went last time, and there's nothing else over there, so... Okay, so if we can jump all the way up, then we can get the flower. Or we can do that! <laughs> oh, we can kill the little super ninja guys. And then they just respawn like they were never gone even though there's literally nothing up there. Okay, that's... That's everything. Once we find the exit, we are good. Okay, well, we can toss an egg up here. Ha <laughs> ha! Wait, is that seriously everything? I remember the level being a lot longer and more complicated than that. Aha! Uh -huh. I see. Okay, that's... I remember that now. Yeah. As a kid, if you aren't able to figure out where that little key thing leads, that... Oh, yes.
Fry guy. Alright, we're using our plus 20 power up at the end here then. Yeah, deep underground maze. This is a this is a toughie. Oh, come on. What the heck? Why is it not working? I was shooting the egg exactly where the arrow was telling me to. There we go. There we go. That should lead out of the maze now. That's actually not too hard of a level to 100%. It's not much harder than just beating it normally. Plus 20! Booyah! Alright, just two levels left in the game, folks. Red Yoshi's time to shine. This next level I remember being very different and very crazy. One hundred points! Cool! So I think only level we might have to repeat would be um, the very long cave, and then potentially the next two levels. Alright, penultimate level. Level 7. KEEP MOVING! Okay. Oh, that's right, these annoying platforms come back. Also, Chain Chomp comes back on this level, I believe. Sure enough. Or I guess just regular Chomp, because there ain't no chain attached. I feel so bad for the Chomp cracking his teeth. But also, he did try to kill us, so... I don't feel that badly. I also love how it actually plays the uh, castle music here, even though it's not a fortress level. Yikes! Yeet! Poor Chain Chomp. I feel that tooth pain, man. Tooth pain is not much fun at all. It's not certainly not as much fun as ear pain. I mean, what? didn't get all those red coins, though. Where did the third one disappear off to? Forget this. I don't like how there are free guys up there. I think we're gonna have to just shoot them down with eggs. I'm so used to just eating them that eggs are probably better. Oh, I bet they were the kind that just fly off after a while. That's probably why. That's true, there are 12 post-game levels. I haven't played any of the secret levels. I have played five of the extra levels, and boy howdy, are they not fun. Honestly, I've, I've played the first five extra levels. My least favorite one by far is Extra 2. Extra 2, extra two I truly don't even see how it would be possible. Extra 4 was actually kind of fun. There we go. 
I feel like the secret levels are going to be a lot easier than the extra levels. Maybe. No! What? Yoshi, you really need to stop buttering your shoes, man. It makes it really difficult to land on moving platforms. Actually, I think Red Yoshi's boy shoes are literally made of ice. This is a tough level. Also, the background on this level is drastically different from the rest of World 6. So now we're in a winter forest. Post-game levels that you remember hit that switch in Castle Masterpiece set or whatever. Yeah. Castle Masterpiece set, I think, is the one for World 6, and I never actually played that one. Because, guess what? I have never 100%ed the very long game. I thought Endless World of Yoshi's was a bonus level from DS. Just from what I've heard. I've also heard Yoshi's Island DS is, like, way harder than Yoshi's Island, or at least in terms of the bonus levels. I believe it. Yoshi's Island is not for the faint of heart. Oh my goodness. That's my newest, uh, music, uh... <laughs> That's my newest music track. <laughs> now available on Spotify. Uh oh. Hi! It's nice of the chain chomp to slow down a little bit as you are having trouble keeping up with him. Genuinely nice of him. Oh, yes! A chair! <laughs> this is such a creative level. Very different from the others. See, this is like... When the chain chomps are chasing you... Or, I guess... Again, but when the chomps are chasing you, that's like a pseudo-auto-scroller that's actually like, kind of fun. Because it's like, okay, you have to take it at least this fast a pace, but you can take it faster if you want. Man, this, this is such a crazy platformer level. I love it. I did not know you could eat those little ghosts. Look at me now, Ma! Oh no. Not this, Fain. I hate this kind of moving platform. Sure hope there's nothing important on these other sides. Uh-oh. That's not good. There goes my ride. <laughs> Do not jump on the red platforms. You will regret it. <laughs> Mistakes were made, yes. Well, that's how it happens when... I was gonna say during a blind Let's Play, but I've played this level before. I have literally... Again, the only blind part of this game is going to be the post-game content, and then beating the final boss. But even then, I've watched my brothers beat the final boss, so that's not even blind diver. Oh, another midway rain over there, eh? Yeah, those are the only two red coins. Ride like the wind, bullseye! 
The problem is when you stand on the edge of this platform, it'll slowly push you off, so you do need to constantly be moving away from it. Okay. Gonna preemptively try to get those guys out of here. Okay, I don't think we can get a big, big enough jump on that. Oh no. Not you. They better not hide something. They sure are. Well, my ride just left. <laughs> That's okay. We could we didn't we didn't need that ride anyways. We probably did actually. Yep. All right. I think this will take us back. Oh. <laughs> it's a good thing we went that way then. <laughs> It's a good thing you didn't listen to me. <laughs> yeah, and when anytime there's destroyable terrain like this, I'm always worried that it's like, oh, you gotta destroy all of it. Wow, we knocked out all of the ghosts with a single spit. That was great. Sniffets are making a return. See, I saw the difference in the red coin that time, but it, you can't always see the difference. Oh, no red coins in it at all? Oh, how cute! The center looks like a skull! little key here. They told me to just keep moving, but I'll be honest, I have definitely stopped moving several times. Oh, hey, bonus shack. Final bonus shack in the game, most likely. Oh boy, throwing balloons. Yes, we haven't done this one enough. That's a lot of button combinations we have to do in a row now, though. I don't think we particularly need any more power-ups, so... We'll just see what comes of this. It's gonna pop on me, though. The AI knows how to manipulate the balloon perfectly. up! Ha! Well, how does it feel to be on the receiving end of the balloon manipulation, huh? Huh? <laughs> okay, I hope the rest of the stuff is over here. Oh boy! Here we go! Super Mario! That was a disappointingly short time. 
Oh, now we're now we are on the precipice of Bowser's Castle. This is good. Oh, that's crazy. That's a shame. How the heck are you supposed to do that? Well, hopefully if we can reset the bandit's position. Okay, not sure why his pattern was different that time. But there we go. Uh, what, are, what do we have? We have all the flowers. We're missing two red coins. Okay, we can find them. Maybe they're up here. Actually, I think I see one over there. Nah, I don't care that much. I can use the power up. That's not going to have a red coin in it anyways. I'm very confused as to what just happened. There we go. Oh, yeah, we don't even need to use a power-up at the end. Well, hopefully not. Wait. I was about to be, is there a secret exit back here? No, 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 there's a warp pipe, though. Why are there bandits falling from the sky? I don't like this. There we go! 100% on that level. No dark blue Yoshi this world, we get green Yoshi twice. Bonus challenge! And we're on the final level, yes. Oh, we actually can do some bonus content today as well. World 5 took a lot longer than World 6. Flip cards, get items, okay. Oh yeah, it's my favorite game. Okay, let's see if we get Kamek immediately. We didn't. We got him almost immediately. Final level, everybody! Let's get ready for the final level. King Bowser's Castle. We're starting off with the helicopter. Great. And Kamek is going to try to knock us out of the sky as well. How fun. Yep, Kamek can actually be an enemy in this game. Nope! Also, yeah, if Kamek hits you, you are just screwed. I remember this level pretty well, actually. Because guess what? I got stuck on the final boss, so I had to beat this level kind of a lot, and I never actually beat final boss. There were no red coins back in that cluster, so I don't have to worry about that. No, 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 stupid goonies! Goonies, more like goons. Thankfully, I think there's a checkpoint right after this annoying helicopter section. No! Doc, gun it! 
If you're going at max speed and you don't know exactly what's coming, you have absolutely no time to react. Especially since one hit equals death. Thomas must enlist the help of Harold the Helicopter. That Goonie almost hit- No! Kamek?! That was not where he was when he was flying in the background. Oh, speaking of Kamek, one of the extra levels is all about him, and it is really, really annoying as well. That's not even getting into extra one. Which is the only extra level I've actually unlocked in this playthrough, is extra one. <sighs> okay, who... who played Yoshi's Island? Use the helicopter, and it's just like, oh, this is perfect. The helicopter controls are just so good and fun. Wow! Are you serious? The background position has no relation as to where he appears. It's just a cue of the timing. Okay, fair enough. All right. So the main gimmick of this level are these four doors. The four doors lead to four different versions of Bowser's Castle. Some of them are easier than others. <laughs> All right. Door one and two are very long and kind of arduous. Door three is kind of creepy, and then door four is the one you want. We're going to door one first, I guess. I honestly really like that idea of, like, there are the four different doors. And you can get 100% in each of the doors. But some of the doors just have naturally easier or just slightly different obstacles. So door number four is basically just free. It's just a room filled to the brim with coins and the flowers. And I think a bunch of gusties is, like, the only enemies. Door free is probably the most famous out of the doors. <laughs> That only gives you one egg? Oh wait, what the heck? Now I have a, a billion eggs. I literally only had- it was only showing one egg, and then it's like, oh psych, you actually have like a hundred. How am I supposed to get through this? Oh, are you trying to tell me I have to hit the floor as well? Ouch! Okay, well, I didn't want to go for door number one anyways. One and two are so boring. Alright. I guess we're going to door number two. Cool, we start with the boring ones. Door number two is filled with shy guys of all sorts. Alright, well, this guy, this is annoying. That guy's just sitting there like, what did I do? How about giving me one of those eggs? Stop throwing them in the opposite direction! Alright, fine. You don't want to give me eggs, I get it. In the meantime, go 
deeper into door number two. Oh, well, isn't that just peach perfect timing? What the heck? These guys look like they're out of peanuts with their weird flat faces. I did. Okay, that is that is an interesting enemy right there, I must say. No! Oh, Yoshi, you dumb butt! <laughs> He's like, wait, you wanted me to jump at the edge of the platform? No, I can't do that. Alright, can we go to door number three or four now? That'd be cool if showing off all of the doors. Nope, we're going back to door number two. Great. Great. I can't aim that well. Especially when I can barely see what I'm aiming at. again. <laughs> Surprised that eating these guys doesn't give us strange shaped eggs. Yoshi, let's try this again. Thank you. There we go. Thank you very much. Now that's nice. Yeah, I remember door number two is not, like, particularly difficult, it's just very long. Oh, hey, it's you. Oh, you jerk, you're gonna force me to use a watermelon. Actually, can we use one of these to just turn him into a question mark balloon? No. That would be far too easy. How do you like ice watermelon? He literally doesn't care. Alright. Full egg refill. I already used up my all my watermelons. Oh, fingers, he just needed one more hit. Give me my key. Sup, Mobius? How's it going? We're on the last level of the whole game. So you're in time for a good part. Alright, that's room two. This is the final hallway. Kinda of torn though, I So this is the final hallway basically where Kamek will come to life and uh try to hit us. I kinda wanna show off the other doors though. Yeah, no, you know what? I wanna show off the other doors. At the very least I wanna show what doors three and four are like. And because we had just conveniently have that nice little checkpoint, it's not too bad. Okay. 
There we go. Door number three. I actually timed that one. That's a lot of red coins. RUN AWAY! HURRY! Well, that's, um... Ominous. Hey, it's Tap Tap the Gold Nose. Yeah, so for this one, we're just getting constantly chased by a... Golden Tap Tap the Red Nose. We gotta keep pelting him with eggs to keep him at bay. It is unfortunately an auto scroller. Yeah, you can <laughs> run away, hurry. I can't. It's an auto scroller. It, yes. I must have been through here before. Yes, I have played. <laughs> he jumped off a cliff. <laughs> what a maroon. <laughs> I still hear his foot. Wait, what? Oh man, even death can't stop him. I have played through this game before, but I've never beaten the final boss. This is probably the most famous of the rooms in Bowser's Castle. Yeah, the background looks really good. It looks even better in the Super NES version, which I am not playing. I don't have access to it. I remember this being more hectic. I'll be honest, this is not as intimidating as I remember it being. Oh, well that's just not fair. That bat literally spawned on top of me. Oh, Keen Arthur... King Arthru is a Monty Python reference. Haven't seen Monty Python. Um. Are you kidding me? Are you serious right now? Are you serious? Yet another reason why auto scrollers suck. Seriously, I still can't figure out a good auto scroller. The closest you get is the uh, tricky treasure levels from Rayman Origins, but even then, those are very frustrating. All right, I'm really gonna try to hit door number four. First, I need to find it. Yes! Okay. Door number four is by far the best. Although, one thing we're going to want to use is uh, the magnifying glass. It's our last one. So this room is just filled to the brim with coins, and... Yeah. It's amazing. There are gusties that can be annoying, but... It's not too bad. Oh wait, there are no red. Wait, there are no red coins in that massive mess of coins. I thought there were. Oh, never mind. What a waste of a magnifying glass. <laughs> yeah, try to get door number four if you can. It's so much easier. At least we still can see which ones are the red coins in this area. Oh hey, Marching Milled. Try to attack Kamek. It'll force him to disappear. I thought it did. Camera, you suck. Can you please not? Hi, Kamek, you certainly are annoying today. I really want to eat Kamek, but you can't. 
Kamek is basically the epitome of can't touch this. That last red coin. Should have used the power up before that. That's my bad. Well, if that's not saying there's a bo final boss on the other side of this door, I don't know what does. Let's see if we can get 100%. Come, Yoshi, if you would be so kind, please hand over the baby! Oh dear, what to do? Young Master Bowser wakes! Kamek, it's too noisy in here! I want to go sleepy-bye! Huh? Hmm? Hmm? What kind of green donkey is that? That looks like fun! Me wanna ride! Mine! Mine! So now we have to fight Baby Bowser. Oh boy. Okay, well, if we have to repeat the level, then so be it. So he creates shockwaves, but we can ground pound to shockwave him as well. Yeah, take that. Dang, he keeps hopping over the shockwaves. <laughs> He's like, yeah, let me ride Yoshi! Yeah, take that. You're still alive? Yoshi, how could you do this? Yacht Master, let me help you! Here! Oh, this is not good. And this is the part I was never able to beat. It's Big Bowser. So he'll start destroying the land around us. So what I thought you had to do, I thought you had to wait until his mouth was open in order to throw the eggs at him. Okay, well, sure. Well, this is unfortunate because we have one final star boosting power, so we gotta beat Bowser without getting hit, otherwise we will have to repeat this level, which is okay, this level's fun. And not too difficult if we get door number four. There we go. That's how you do it. You gotta have a little bit of distance to him. There we go. That was easy. Yeah, but his final phase, you literally just have to hit him in the face with eggs. I thought you had to hit him while his mouth was open. And when he has one HP left, he never opens his mouth, so I couldn't figure out how to do it. <laughs> I also like how Yoshi's facing forwards for this fight.
Thank goodness it tells you where the rocks are going to fall. That's a nice little favor it does. I don't really know how to properly aim these eggs. I just kind of have to hope it hits them. All right, cool. We keep, we keep hitting them in the face. This is great. And eventually he starts charging and just never stops. So better hope we are able to beat him. Also might be too far. Oh, no. I don't like this Sam I am. Take that, yeah. I think he this will finish him. Nope. Uh oh. Oh no, that's not good. Yes! Yes! If he runs at you in the face, then you you dead. How dare you! It's not fair! You are such a big meanie! Someday, we will be back! You'll see! And that's how Mario and Bowser became mortal enemies. They tied the stork up! How dare they! Hey, it's baby Luigi! Now we have two babies to ride on our back. Wait till Yoshi's Island DS, where there are like five, six babies that ride on your back. Thus, due to the marvelous teamwork of the Yoshi clan, the brothers are reunited. Yoshi frees the captured stork who sets about his duty and finally makes the long awaited delivery. Thanks, Yoshi! The brothers will meet their parents soon. Was there a reason why Bowser had to catch Mario and Luigi when they were babies be long before they were any threat to him? Still a little ambiguous. Beautiful. And we open up bonus six, too. Now, this lava pool belongs to Yoshi! Somehow Kamek knew the Mario Brothers would cause Bowser no end of grief. Self-fulfilling prophecy? Okay, that is some low-resolution graphics uh, here. Wow, that is really low frame rate. That is extremely low frame rate. <laughs> Is it like this in the SNES version, too? <laughs> Alright, that is a fun game. I don't think it's one of my favorite Mario games, but... It's definitely a fun game to play every now and then. Still is confusing how why this game is just so dang difficult. This is like a really tough 2D platformer. That's not even getting into all the secret and extra levels. Oh man, this is either going to be a short stream or we're going to do some bonus. Yeah, we're going to try out some of the secret levels, I think. Because I've never actually played those. 
Like, this is supposed to be, like, a third-person view of the stork flying through the sky, but, like, wow, that is low frame rate. Like, that does not look good at all. <laughs> Special thanks to who? The Nintendo of America localization team and the engineering debug team. And the original Yoshi's Island staff. Oh, are we gonna get two sets of credits? One for Yoshi's Island and one for the GBA port? That would be interesting. Tezuka, thank you. I thought that said my favorite producer at first. No, executive producer. Iwata. Oh. Uh, and he worked on everything. All rights, including the copyrights of game, scenario, music, and program reserved by Nintendo. They aren't kidding about the music either. <laughs> Looks like they have reached the land where mom and dad live. does not look like a stork at all. I feel like even I can make a better animation than that, and that's saying something. Probably not, but maybe. <laughs> Take a box! Its contents will help you on its way. That looked a little bit more like a stork. And yep, that's where babies come from. Our heroes are born! We actually got silhouettes of Mario and Luigi's parents. That's crazy. The end. Aw, that's cute. Man, those babies have giant noses. Aw, that was nice. I know this ain't one of those games that freezes at the, the end screen, because there's post-game content that gets unlocked after you beat the game. Right? <laughs> right? <laughs> It really seems... Okay. The game must save behind the scenes, apparently. Choose Yoshi! With pleasure. Oh, yep. There's our clear data. Now if we go back to World 1, yep, all of these secret levels have been unlocked, too. We also have the World 1 extra level. I think, yeah, World 1 was the only one we actually got the extra level on. Alright, let's try out the secret levels. I've never played these before, nor have I seen them, so... Let's see what these are all about. Secret 1, Exercise in the Skies. Interesting. Going off to the skies then? Uh bleh. <laughs> Oh, real smooth, Shrek. <laughs> this is an interesting level this far. Alright, this is kinda cool. Oh, <laughs> This is kind of like Ride Like the Wind 2.0. This one, this one is nasty, is it? 
I thought the secret levels weren't supposed to be, like, stupidly difficult. This is, like, poor, naive little Artie. He has no idea what he's getting into. I thought the extra levels were supposed to be stupidly difficult, not the secret levels. Also, I went in here without grabbing any sort of star power-up. It has mercy in the first room, but it gets worse later. Are you sure you're not thinking of extra two hit that switch? That's the one that I'm remembering, which is like... Oh, wait, you, you wanted to have fun playing this game? <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> That's basically what Extra 2 is like. Okay, interesting. Oh, okay, well that happened. If this is canon, then the Mario Bros. were adopted. No, Nintendo Addict, obviously babies come from storks. Yoink! Alright. Okay, what?! At least Extra 2 is very short, it's just- I wouldn't know. I've never gotten even close to beating Extra 2. Okay. Oh, that's evil! Do you- I am- Hmm, this is weird. I think I'm overcomplicating this. I think I've, I literally just need to get those red coins and that's it. I mean, it's playing this music. All of the worst levels in this game in the game play this music. And by worst, I mean most difficult. It keeps saying go up. So somehow we need to ride that platform. Okay. I have an idea. There we go. Yes! Okay. Uh-oh. Extra two vibes. <laughs> okay, that was significantly easier than extra two. What?! How in the world was I supposed to get out of that? bogus. What else could I have done? There was no other way but down. You need to save the stone blocks? Well, how was I supposed to know that? Oh, great. There goes my ride. Zoom, zoom, zoom! Oh, darn it! I don't like this level. It's alright. I probably grabbed the checkpoint a little too early. Now anytime I lose, I have to repeat all this NONSENSE! Thank goodness it respawned. Okay, well that's just stupid. That is really precise. <laughs> what? That's such bogus! <laughs> I literally was on the platform and it just phased through me. What manure? Yeah, 
And look at that! It literally just phased through me, just for the purposes of not letting me get to the secret. Come on. Come on! How precise of a jump do you have to make it? This is just... ridiculous. That's what that is. It did it again! I am getting really fed up with this stupid platform. Stupid donkey platform. Okay, seriously, how precise of an A-press do you have to make it in order to reach up this high? Seriously, this is not a task here, people. What the heck do you need to do? I got it first try, now I can't get it again. It's like you have to push A at the exact right frame in order to get enough height. And like me, the developers must have done it on their first try and were just like, that's completely fair. And then never bothered to try it again. And look at me, I phased through the platform again for no reason. Wow, this level does suck. I like the concept of it. Okay, seriously? This is not fun, it's not fun at all. Who thought this was fun? They clearly were drunk. I'm at, what am I supposed to do here? Seriously, I've been pushing A at like every different possible opportunity and none of them have worked except for the random first time. I don't remember what I did specially that first time. Too early? I'm pressing it, like, as close to the end as I possibly can do it! If I press it any later, it's gonna be off of the wire, and then it won't go anywhere. Do I have to press it when it's off of the wire? Alright, I'll try pressing it after it's left the wire. Oh, that's what you have. Okay. I feel like it, after it leaves the wire, it should go slower. Okay, yeah, you wouldn't know that you have to save these stone blocks for the end unless you've already done this before. Alright. Well... That's the first part of the level. Oh no. Oh no. Why? Oh why? Oh why? I was thinking that was going to have a flower in it. No, this is the one you remember and it sucks. Okay, well, screw getting 100%. Especially if I'm just gonna keep dying at this part, I do not... I don't give two rips. Oh, that's just rude. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I don't care enough about this level to try to get 100%. Not today. Yike! Does anybody like these platforms? If something's not fun to use, why put it in your game? Unless you're intentionally trying to add challenge.
that was most <laughs> unkind. Okay, so we gotta time this just right. Wow, that is a very narrow window of time. I mean, I've already missed flowers, so who cares? <laughs> That was the one magic one, all right. Zoom, zoom, zoom! Okay, the, uh, this part of the level's not too bad. Oh, I see. Oh, that is frustrating. Honestly, though, if you're not trying to get 100%, this isn't too bad. You can even argue that this is actually kind of fun. It's just if you're trying to get everything. At the very least, I, it's not extra level difficulty, so I am so stoked about that. No, no. No. No, no. Oh, no. No. Oh, no, it's a disaster! <laughs> and those don't respawn, do they? No, they don't. Eh... Uh. Actually, you are we're thinking of a later level. Oh, great! You're thinking of a level that's stupendously worse. <laughs> this is still, like, the most fun level in the entire world in comparison to Extra 1, though. Extra 1 is what I call one of the biggest lies ever told in video games. <laughs> This is giving me slight hit that switch vibes, just because if you make. On hit that switch, if you literally don't do everything absolutely perfectly, you die. This level is definitely not to that same degree, but one tiny little slip up can screw everything over. Like, I feel like if you're not going through here at maximum speed, then you're probably screwed. Or, if, like, if you accidentally... Yeah, if you accidentally wander off the platform like that because Yoshi wears butter shoes, then you're screwed, and there's no getting back. Why does Yoshi butter the bottoms of his shoes anyways? It's super annoying. In a game where you have to do precise platforming, slippery controls are not appreciated. Sincerely, everybody who has played a 2D platformer in history. I can see the exit! I can 
can see it. Come on. No! Okay. We just need to navigate back to where the switch is, though. Wow, that level wasn't very good. It had some interesting ideas, but... It just wasn't that fun to play. But we get the bonus challenge for it. Hey, that's cool. Not my best score. Actually, that might be my worst score. Scratch and sniff one-ups. We haven't gotten this one in a while. Oh, look, it's a toady. Again, it's still much better than hit that switch, though. Keeping up my usual, I get one up from this game. <laughs> Alright, what's Secret 2 all about? Secret 2, Mystery of the Castle? Oh, it's a, it's a castle level, I was not expecting this. It's kind of cool though, I can dig it, that's a lot of instant death. You know, I generally don't appreciate it when 2D platformers abuse instant death, one of the many reasons I did not like Mighty Number no. 9. Where it's literally just like, oh, we need an A obstacle. Let's make it instant death. It's like, no. That should be reserved for only, like, specific situations. Alright, yeah, there's a lot of instant death on this level. Uh, Oh, baseball boy, eh? Think you're so clever. I don't think so. Yeek! Oh, that's that's not good. And it ate my hover. Ouch. Oh, I see. Okay, this level actually seems pretty cool. I think they use too much instant death, though. It's just a prank, bro. Sometimes you push A at the edge of the ledge, and Yoshi purposefully waits till he walks off it before he actually does anything, which means that he'll just plummet. <laughs> Alright, Mystery of the Castle? I'm expecting this to be kind of like the deep underground maze where there's like a puzzle you need to solve. Like Encyclopedia Brown. <laughs> This one I feel like I'm I could actually get 100% on though. Stupid potaboos. Give me that. Did we just eat the Grim Reaper? That's pretty awesome. I'm gonna hold off on getting that checkpoint. I don't know how many of them there are gonna be. is in his hands. Rats. Okay. I at least somewhat know what to expect here.
I need to watch out for his aim. Pow. That is annoying, having the baseball boys on the ground chucking stuff at the switches as they're trying to... Ugh. That's actually quite frustrating. You know what, I think we should take that checkpoint in the first room. Because I'm not sure if there's any way back once we get there. Actually, no, there probably is. Stupid Potaboo! Actually, wait, there's the X door at the beginning. Why is it sometimes you're just, like, you can't hit enemies and they can hit you? Like, I swear I ate that guy. Alright, now we'll try this one more time. Because I'm pretty sure the doorway will lead back here, where the X door is. <laughs> the Potaboos are so happy. Yeah, but they make me unhappy. Okay. I've got more plans for this room. Oh, you jerk butt! It looked like he threw it to the left, but he threw it to the right. What the heck? This is really annoying. No! Oh. <sighs> Apparently just so much as touching the ceiling means you can never hover again. Eighth time's the charm. That was strange. Just didn't let me hover there. Alright. You're gonna run out of baseballs eventually, buddy. Told ya. Yeah, that, okay, so this time we're not even gonna deal with the, the stupid curveball. Oh, that's right, you can't hit them with eggs because they always catch them. Freaking invincibility frames! You can't knock me into the spikes when I have invincibility frames. What a cheater. <sighs> this still is not as sadistic as the extra levels. The extra levels were literally just the developers sitting down being like, how can we make these levels as unfun as humanly possible? That's how. This level is definitely very, very annoying. Again, 
You know why this level is kind of annoying? Because they completely abuse instant death to the point that it, it's not fun. There's a time and a place for instant death, but you can't you can't just spam it everywhere. It's not fun if you spam it everywhere. You know, if I were if I were a level designer, I would make the secret levels super fun more than anything else. That way it would really encourage people to try and beat the game. Thanks for dropping my input game. You're the best. Can I please get a Yoshi who doesn't butter the bottoms of his shoes? And it's not even like so I'll take I'll take another game example that gets really, really tough. Rayman Origins. Rayman Origins has some brutally difficult endgame levels like the Land of the Little Dead and the Treasure levels. The difference though is if you die in Rayman Origins, you don't have to replay like the whole level again. <laughs> or the levels themselves are extremely short and they give you plenty of checkpoints if they're not. Not so much for this. We go. Now we get something exciting and new. Well, we get something new. There we go. All of that for a single flower. I remember the potaboo there. I don't care if they have the happy little cat smiles. They're annoying. I am glad that I waited on getting that checkpoint now. Oh, I see. I see what we gotta do. I see what we gotta do. We've gotta lure these guys over here. Which is highly annoying, because wow, they are just spamming the Hadoken move over and over again. They just want to help. No, they want to kill me. But I can use that to my advantage. You better not tell me that's the way I'm supposed to go. That is utterly ridiculous if you're saying that's the way I'm supposed to go. Okay, good. <laughs> or their main Ken. Okay. Yeah, this is definitely not where we're supposed to go. Any holes in the ceiling? Nope. Okay. Excellent. In the in the post game levels, you never know. They might intend for you to do the tricky thing. Okay, no, here we go. Now the level see, when the level doesn't spam instant death everywhere, it's actually quite fun. Interesting. Uh, 
Oh, you... you can't. Nope, they can. They can do whatever they want, and they do do whatever they want. Who cares if it's a fun user experience? Oh, I guess you can look over that way. Alright, that's fair. Oh, what the heck? See, like, this is not fun. Forcing me to repeat a part of the level I know I can do over and over again is not fun. It took game developers a stupidly long time to figure this out, and many of them still have not figured this out. Oh, but it makes it challenging. It's not challenge to force me to play a part of the level I know I can do over and over again just because I failed on a different part. Oh, look! Of course they put a potaboo there, because why would they make this, like, fair or fun? <laughs> De <laughs> Devs basically do be like, just die less. Oh, did you kill all the Koopas like you were clearly being indicated to do? <laughs> you just failed. Really? There better not be anything important in that question mark. I'm gonna guess it was just a one-up. Oh, hey, give me that. If you threw that into, like, lava, okay, good. Also, if I come to the end of this, only to find that I'm, like, one star power short or something... Once again, game is very consistent in randomly just eating your hovers. Thanks. Yeah, you literally have to jump and wait for the Potaboo to disappear. Otherwise, you take hit. Okay. So even though the game was clearly telling me, hey, you definitely want to use the shell on these Koopas... should still be alive. I did not kill all of them. Nope. Screw you. You are not getting that because we don't like you. You also gotta love a camera that... Jeez, that jump scared me. You also gotta love a camera that doesn't really show you where you're going. That you can't move. This is like Super NES Black Ice Battle from Donkey Kong Country 2. And of course, by that, I mean it in a derogatory way. Because that level was not very good in the SNES version. Oh, okay, here we go, here we go. Yeah, yeah, in your face. Mm -hmm. 
All right, here we go. This is what we were looking for. It's gonna be upsetting if I get 100%, but I'm like one star power short at the end and don't have any power-ups. It's gonna be uh, very frustrating. Which I have a hunch that's what's gonna happen. Wait a second. Oh, this is an alternate way of... Okay. Interesting. Oh, I guess I, guess I went an alternate... Okay. That's fair. All right, all right. That's fair. There's a key down there. What the heck is this? What the heck is this? I repeat, what the heck is this? I can't get off him. Now I could for some reason. That was weird and somewhat glitchy. Nope. Oh, never mind. I missed a ton of stuff on that level. Okay, well, that was not fun. At all. Wow, these <laughs> to hand green, green Yoshi hands Baby Mario off to Green Yoshi. I missed that last time. Well, that is, I think, my new worst score. Oh, wait, I opened up extra two from... Oh, I don't need to 100% World 2 if I can play the secret levels. Oh, you know what? This is actually great. We can unlock all the extra levels by playing for the secret levels. Oh, okay, I'm actually excited now. I don't even need to 100... Great, okay, good. I'm not 100% in this game. I'll just flat out say it. Uh, go, go, Morphling? Oh, no. This is going to be a level of non-stop morphing into airplanes and submarines and stuff like that. Okay, great. Oh, yeah, I am so not 100% in this game. That would be ridiculous. Yay, I don't have to 100% the very, very long game. Alright, let's see how many of the uh, secret levels we can knock out this stream. And then maybe next uh, we'll do a bonus stream or something where we explore the extra levels. If you want to see someone get 100%, you're watching the wrong guy. Normally I like getting 100%, but mm, depends on the game. Did I read the level title right? I thought it said Go Go Morphling. Alright, see you, Nintendo Addict. Have a good Bible study. I probably won't be streaming for a whole lot longer. Give me my baby back. No, oh, I need those coins, even though they're... Okay, there was one red coin. I'm 
pretty sure, yeah, I must have said go, go, Morphling, because here we go. Oh, yeah, look at all these morphing abilities. Actually, wait, do these just lead to... I mean, I'm still going to try it. It looks like these almost just lead to bonus stuff, and you can just bypass them in order to reach the exit. That could be fun. Oh, hey, the submarine's back. That's kind of nice. Submarine's probably one of the more passable transformations. I'd say the car is probably the best. Of course, the car is also the one you only use once in the entire game. Now that's interesting. This is quite a maze. I want that flower, though. No, just get down in the... Get down in the crevice! Haha, <laughs> just in time. I just need enough points on this level in order to get extra free. That's my goal. I unlock the extra levels via the secret levels, and then we play them all, and I don't have to go back and 100% all these other levels. What are these crabs doing underwater? <laughs> Artie, are you stupid? Crabs are underwater in real life. I know that. I'm just being weird. Oh, uh, well, well. Guess we're not going to the extra area. That's fine. We also don't even need 100% on this level. Plus, that was just the submarine. I think we're going to get all of the transformations. Oh, look! Choo-choo! Thomas the Tank Engine intensifies. Okay, this just seems like a giant maze that's not that fun to go through. Because how the heck are you supposed to know which way to go? Nope. Sometimes these train controls just aren't that good. Shocking, I know. Thomas has to back up, everybody. It's okay, it was Sir Topham Hat's orders. Uh-oh. Thomas, you were going very slow. Yoshi the Tank Engine. Oh yeah, the chalk drawings can come to life and kill you because... Artificial difficulty and all that. Oh, wait, wait, wait. There's a flower back here. That's weird. Wait, how... How are we supposed to... Oh, I... I'm not even in the background. I'm confused as to how the heck you're supposed to get that flower. Oh, I... Oh, I get it. Well, it's too late now. Because <laughs> that was a one-time use train, unlike this one. How are these drawings able to hit me in the real world? Oh, 
Uh, is this gonna turn me into a train in the background, or is this just gonna be like, oh, have fun in the real? Oh no. Uh oh. What a jerk move! <laughs> and that is how Thomas the Tank Engine met an unfortunate demise. This time we're getting this one first. Dun hum 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 dum! That's... oh, interesting. So if we go to the dead end here... oh, that's weird. Ah, what the butts? Robbing me of my flower. The nerve. It would not let me hover. Ugh, I hate the game's physics sometimes. Gotta race backwards, because why not? Still enjoying riding backwards here, Yoshi. <laughs> Apparently, fast forward Yoshi in on <laughs> when he's outside of the drawings. Kind of weird that this is the secret level for Monkey World. This doesn't really have a lot to do with monkeys except for the first room. Oh boy, everybody's favorite transformation the Mole Drill. We're gonna get every transformation. That's just something that's gonna happen. Once again, there was absolutely nothing to indicate that going that way would lead, would lead to death. I do not understand the controls for this. At all. Uh, what? Oh, now it's helicopter time. Oh, great. Wonderful. Ah, I hate the helicopter controls! Oh, this is kind of interesting. We're alternating between the mole and the helicopter. I guess that's kind of cool. But if at any point we uh, mess up, then uh, we have to redo a whole lot of this. Also, these controls are garbage. There is literally no consistency to the mole trail, to the mole train controls, at all. Like, if anybody says they figured out the mole train controls, they are lying. Oh look, we're doing it again! We better use the car at some point. The car is the only one that's actually kind of fun. <sighs> A con! Gosh. You guys seen this? It's ridiculous how bad this is. Oh boy. 
Yeah, I'm very glad I'm not trying to 100% these. I'm just trying to get enough percent on this level. I'm trying to get just enough percent that I can unlock the extra level, basically. And I'm going to try to explore it, but oh man, I am so glad I'm not trying to 100% this game. This is one of those games that doesn't seem fun to 100%. Some of the levels are fun to 100%, and then levels like this, it's just like, ha, no. I'm not spending hours trying to find the exact pro proper way to go through this that the game developers want you to go through. Because it's very unintuitive which direction is the correct way. Pretty sure all of that was just extra stuff. Oh, thank goodness it's the car. Oh boy, we used the car for so much. Alright, well, we made it to the end. We most certainly did not get 100%, but whatever. I do not really want to do the... Yeah, these secret levels just aren't that fun. If I may be honest. Just not that fun. But we opened up extra free, so that's good. Actually, it's really not that good, because extra free is... Well, all the extra levels are ridiculously annoying to go through. Alright, I think that's all of the patience I have today to play Yoshi's Island. Thanks for watching, everybody. Uh, we will not be doing this stream next weekend. I have plans next weekend, but the weekend after that is hopefully when we can do this final stream of Yoshi's Island. Maybe I'll do it earlier. I'll keep it po I'll keep you guys posted. Otherwise, Monday and Wednesday, I keep streaming Kingdom Hearts 358 over two days, so tune in for that. It's always a lot of fun. Thank you all for watching. Hope you have a fantastic rest of your weekend, and God bless.